Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. I'm about to play some modern with Deluxicore's Red Green Land Destruction deck. Uh, Deluxicore took uh, uh, third place in a premier event with this deck in May 2012. And it's one of the cheap uh, modern decks that I can actually get together without investing in anything pre Sendicar. Because everything pre Sendicar in modern is in danger of being reprinted, and you should not be in those cards if you're at all interested in magic finance. Stay out of everything pre Sendicar. But do invest heavily in modern staples from Sendicar and Scars of Mirrodin. Uh, my tips are the Scars of Mirrodin lands, uh, uh, definitely the fetch lands, uh, until the fetch lands are reprinted, which will probably be a long time as they're enemy colored. Uh, do uh, go into that. So let's say we want to cast a stone rain on turn two, but this time we can't. But we do have a pretty stable hand. He has Mulligan, so we are keeping this hand. Uh, we're gonna play Copland Gorge. Uh, is this the same guy I just played against? But playing against land destruction with Ursatron. Probably in my favor then. <laughs> Segnet. So I will stone rain an island here. Possibly creeping mold uh, signet next turn. Or kill the target of this. Shivan Reef. It looks like a pretty fat thing to destroy. And I know just the guy to do that. Possible we might get quit here. Because this is a field day for red green land destruction. The signet is definitely a target. Now he has uh, counterspell mana. So, what kind of counterspell can he have? Uh, I'm going for the avalanche riders. Where am I? Am I going for the Creeping Moss? Okay, I'm going for the Creeping Moss because this is very likely to be counterspelled. So, green. Creeping Mold. For the Signet. Here comes Syncopate. Condescend, I mean. I can't do anything about that. Get to beat down with Mr. Powerful Ruin Blaster. So now it's four man. There's there's a power plant. That's a prime target. Just gonna overload the counter spells. Uh, Acid Moss. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's fun. Uh, what do we want against Blue Red Ursatron Grudges? Sounds good. Three grudges, perhaps. Taking out the fire spout is probably super dangerous. Leave one in for safety. Uh, what do you take out? Taking out the revival. Well, if red green land destruction should beat anything, 
it's uh, the Ursatron, and it's not like in Pauper where mana is so broken that land destruction decks can't beat Simic Storm Post. Uh, this is not the Mulligan, it's not a very fast hand, but I could definitely not Mulligan it. Going for the tomb then. New no. turn three is a bit late for a land destruction spell. Maybe I should have mulligan to get the early one. But uh, there will be so much land destruction. Uh, so you won't know where to go. Uh, so maybe save the tree man and go for the creeping mold and this time seems like a good idea and wait with the others until we can cast two three casting cost spells on turn six. Oh my god. Throw three cards, then discard two cards on the silver squad off. Well, sounds good to me. But we did get to destroy it. So now acid moss then. Really? Uh, right, that comes into play tapped. And we go for acid moss. High score moss. <laughs> okay, you get to counter. Um, then it's time for Ruin Blaster, then Avalanche Riders, right? But now maybe he has the counter spells he needs. I doubt he has enough of them. Okay. Go for that. Uh, next time we go for the Shivan Reef, of course. Unless we see another Ursatron line. Oh, what's that? Are you tapping out, sir? Oh my god! Through the breach! Uh, worm coil engine, yeah. Should be good. But does it really change a lot? <laughs> it probably does. These guys are probably okay enough to drive us into the ground. Worm coil engine, pretty good. Uh, then we're gonna block the lifelink uh, creature. And just try to keep going. Question it, what do we do about the other one? Except die. At least they're artifacts. So Ancient Grudge will be great against them. Okay, <laughs> there it is. Um, I think I go for double land destruction now. So I want colorless, colorless red stone rain for blue red black red molten rain for blue and then we gotta hit the signet 
Where's the, no, we had to hit the stupid worm. Where is ancient grudge? God damn it. I want the signet gone. He still has four mana. But uh, it's not optional at this point, is it? I am all out of energy here. And he's at 27. I have Ugin. Jesus Christ. Is it the eye of Ugin I destroy? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Seven mana. No, I go for the power plant. And I have established this wonderful 12 uh, round clock. Seems that the Ursatron is as common as Cloud Post is in Pauper. Oh my god! Yeah, I will pay it. I will happily pay it. Uh, watch this. This is me paying it. Paying. You get the pay to play. Uh, that's a great card and it's gonna hit your Shivan Reef. But that's it. That's all I got. He still has four mana. A fire spout. <laughs> yeah, why did I leave that in the deck? I thought it were like something I haven't seen, but and then I have no removal. I don't know. It seems pretty stupid now. Uh oh. They're going for a blue red land, possibly. Deuce of Calamity, where are you? Ancient Grudge, where are you? It's way too late for Ancient Grudge. Here comes something nasty. The it's pretty tight here. Really, uh, just an island. That islands are good. They should be banned. Yes, five mana, despite all my effort. And Earth Rift is not in modern. Dues of calamity. Ah, it probably has something. <laughs> Uh oh, a tower, now he has 6 mana, I need 8 to start uh, Start going for <laughs> Worm Coil Engines uh, Acid Moss makes me a happy camper And I am Acid Mossing the island again Or am I? I'm not sure at all here but I think I'm acid mossing the Diabugin actually. Uh, 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 uh. Well, forest. Ah. Through the breach. Worm coil engine. Uh, what? Okay, so he isn't sacrificed until the beginning of the next end step. And I'm at. He doesn't trample, so I have to block. 
right? But Wormcoil Engine in itself just wins the game for him. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, now it's the tower. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's in my hand? <laughs> Think about it. Uh, three creatures, each creature without flying if red was spent to cast it. So, cast for red. Them. It's uh, the tower again. But this time he had the counter spell. Yeah. We are down to top decking. I don't think he's holding a land. Maybe he is. I think he top decks a lot better than I do. Uh, but I top deck not too slably. Tower. So long to go, Mr. Drew last Deuce of Calamity. Deuce of Calamity. He would be great. Is he non basic lands, by the way? Maybe he's. I'm not sure really. We shall see when he shows up. He just keeps playing those stupid Ursa lands. now has seven mana. That's when land destruction goes wrong. Destroy target land. Well, I'm sure he can counter it. But here goes nothing. Uh, red, red, green. So casting it for two red and three green. Deuce of Calamity! Deuce of Calamity! Deuce of Calamity! Can you stop it? No! And the land destruction deck wins! There is a moment of celebration. It's actually the first time this deck wins a duel. And this list I'm now 1-2 with the deck. Uh, is set Ursatron will be the name of that deck. And yes, a win! That's uh, fantastic! Thank you for watching Magic Adding Strat playing Red Green Land Destruction in Modern versus Iset Ursatron.